Hi guys, I'm Elise and these are five tracks that inspired me. The first song I'll mention is Three Below by St. John. I heard this song randomly at a house party a few years ago. I think I was 17 or 18. And this was around the time that I was just starting to create my own original music and starting to write and all of that. So I was very much looking for inspiration wherever I could find it. And I heard this song playing and all of a sudden I just hear this insane 808 come in and immediately I like shazammed the song found it and listened to it 10 million times and I think Songs usually inspire me for one piece of them rather than the whole song itself and the thing that really inspired me about that song was just that absolutely disgusting crazy 808 and literally ever since then that is why you will hear a distorted bendy 808 in like 90% of my songs because ever since I heard Three Below by St. John, I have had an obsession with a really cool distorted 808 line in like the chorus of a song. And that's why all my songs have 808s in them. <laughs> Another song that really inspired me, this one is a little bit more recent, but um, I'm a huge Ariana Grande fan. She is literally my biggest inspiration. And when the Positions album came out, I loved the whole album, but West Side by Ariana Grande, that song just did something to me. I can't even really put it into words, but there will just be certain songs where when you hear them, they just feel like it's a perfect song for your brain. It's literally like ASMR for your brain. And when I heard West Side by Ariana Grande, I played it on loop every day for like almost three months straight, I think. It was really an addiction. <laughs> um, so yeah, I love that song. The title even West Side ended up inspiring a title of one of my songs called Wicked Witch of the West Side. Even though the songs sound nothing alike, I just love that song so much and it made me feel so happy that I kind of wanted to do like an ode to it in one of my songs. So yeah, that's probably my favorite Ariana song of all time. And that's saying a lot because I love so many of her songs. I can't pick a specific song, but the entirety of the Crybaby album by Melanie Martinez, I think I was maybe 15 or 16 years old when that album came out. and that album inspired me so much to the point where like i was like whoa this is everything that i love about music the super conceptual writing like very strong lyrical concepts just like a very strong visual aesthetic to match with the musicality of it just everything about that album and that era of like what I was going through at that time, it just made me feel so warm and fuzzy inside. That album was literally my comfort album for years. And even to this day, if I'm feeling down and going through something, that is like my number one album to put on. It's very rare for me to find an album that I feel like has zero skips. And that is one of those albums for me. Shout out Melanie Martinez, she slayed. I got into Nirvana when I think I was like 12 or 13, kind of around the time that I started getting on Tumblr and social media and, you know, like created, I don't even know if Spotify was the thing at the time, but created my own like music accounts where I could like my own music and listen to my own music. And I stumbled on Nirvana. I obviously knew who they were already because they're Nirvana, but I had never really listened to them. And when I found something in the way, I, would just lay in bed with my little iPhone 4GS, whatever the iPhone at the time was, and just lay on my back in bed and listen to that song and cry about my little 12 year old problems. And yeah, that song holds a special place in my heart. I still listen to it constantly to this day. It never gets old. So the last song is Bellyache by Billie Eilish. This kind of goes along with the Melanie Martinez thing where I think that song came out when I was like 17. And at the time, same thing, I was just starting to write my own original music and drop my own original music. 
And I love concepts. I'm very much a lyrical person. That's like my favorite part of songs, even more than the production and musicality is always the concept and the lyrics. So when I heard Bellyache, I was just obsessed. I was like, what kind of insane song concept is this? Like, I loved it so much. I thought it was such a genius idea. Also, the production is insane, of course, Phineas. And yeah, the songwriting just really inspired me and to the point where I think at that time that song inspired me so much that was like my reference song in every session I went to for a solid six months.